I am here at the Festival of the Trees in Gatlinburg. If you're not familiar with that, uh, all these trees are donated, all decorated and donated uh, for a good cause. Uh, they are for the Boys and Girls Club. So if you're able to read some of the signs, you'll see some of the prices. And they do seem kind of steep, but you got to remember it's for a good cause. They're donated. Uh, so all the money goes to that nonprofit. So uh, I will try to get this video the best that I can. There's a lot of people in here, so I'm only going to be able to do so much. So I may catch a lot of people in here. I think any time that you can donate to a nonprofit, I think that's a very good thing. So. Some of the trees that we're going to see here, somebody is very creative. Some of the things. A lot of businesses, a lot of, some, some are just uh, normal people, uh, citizens, not businesses, whatnot. Uh, they've donated some of these. There's a Grinch tree. Oh, here's a Grinch tree here. I was pointing the wrong one. All right. I am standing a little close to them, but I've got to with so many people. I can't stand back and video them the way I like. Lots of kids. This one's donated by Food City of Gatlinburg. You'll hear a lot of noise in this section. I am in the interactive area for the kids, so that's where I'm at. So I have to say it's kind of hard to get a really Good video to do these justice. Some of these are very beautiful. The elf shop here. Welcome to the North Pole. I guess that's letters. You put your letters in there for Santa. <laughs> Post office. Lots and lots of trees here. There's a snowman tree. I think that's the first time I've ever seen one of those. Right. Go here and work through this interactive section for the kids. Get back over in this other section. But I did want to show you those. I didn't want to bypass them. The North Pole, Santa is in. That's good news. <laughs> All right, here's a thing kind of detailing it. Oh my goodness, I love it. Where it goes to the You're Boys and Girls Club. This tree here, who is this donated by? The Titanic Museum Attraction. As I say, the prices are kind of steep, but they're for charity. So that's why it's that way. Actually, I've seen some, a few already that said sold on them. So I think this opened on Tuesday, today is a Wednesday as I'm videoing this.
this is a little area where it's a sleigh up here where you can get up there or you with your family or whatnot and you can have a picture they'll take a picture of it for you if that's your thing So you'll hear a lot of the kids in the background up in the sleigh getting their picture taken. <laughs> Hampton Historic Nature Trail. Who donated this tree? Lots and lots of trees, all donated. I am missing out on several, several of them. Let's see, who donated this one? Old Smoky Distillery. Here is a tree. It was donated by Isaiah 117 House Resource Center, Sevier County. So, so many, so many. A lot of creative people in the world. The video that I'm taking doesn't do it justice. It doesn't bring out the color and the light as it would with the naked eye. Tennessee State Bank. Gatlinburg Skylift Park. Boys and Girls Club of Sevierville. Every different kind of decoration that you can think of. <coughs> Boys and Girls Club of Pigeon Forge. That one's got a little sign on it says Yeehaw. Historic Gatlinburg Inn did this one. Very nice. Well, here's something different. It's a very classic looking Santa. They've got two bottle trees in front of them. They've made. Who made this? Little Bear Winery. They're oh, the wine bottles. Okay. Made out of wine bottles. That's different. Here's a nativity scene with some scriptures here. It's already sold. It says, And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. Luke chapter 2, verse 10. Part of the Christmas story. The real reason for the season. Well, here's a here's a bear with some decorations on him. We are in Gatlinburg. There's a tree that's upside down, decorated. Got a little train on top. Lots and lots of people in here. Lots of kids.
This one. The hiker's lost treasure in golf. It's a mini golf place. Got flamingos in it. <laughs> All right, I, I am in Tennessee. Here is a Tennessee volunteer tree. Got the orange going on. <laughs> you can hear those kids back there having a good time. It's so hard to try to get the full scope of the tree in here without getting everybody in the picture here. There's so many in here. St. Mary Catholic Church donated this one. I am going to jump over here to the center as I work my way out. Tree, there's a nut, the nutcracker. There's another one of those guys, nutcracker. Here's a tree here, blue and gold. Who donated this? Mountain Hope Good Shepherd Clinic. I see some of the decorations or doctors and nurses on here. Quality plumbing, heating, and cooling. Donated this one. Rather large tree. Here's one kind of unusual color. It is for me, anyhow. It's white and got a lot of pink and look like lavender colors in it. Who donated it? Holiday Inn Club Vacations. Okay, that makes sense. I seen the top, it looked like it had construction helmets on it. And it's, uh, it's a Horner Building Company who donated this. So that, that makes sense. Lots and lots of trees. Greystone Lodge on the river. I've stayed there before. Donated that one. Donated this one. Sandman's Workshop. I've actually gotten a, some work done there. We bought an item there several years back at this place. Did good work. Girl Scouts Mountain View. Got some oranges in there. Two, who is this? First United Methodist of Gatlinburg. Methodist Church. All 
right, all kind of stuff going on here. What is it? Old, old smoky candy kitchen. Got a couple different versions of Santa here. There, and then got a smaller version here. Let me turn here, get over here. There's nobody on this side hardly. I can jump over here before everybody gets over here. <laughs> Just so much here, so many people, it is very hard to video this. But I didn't want to let it go while I was here. Don't get down here this time of year very often. Just wanted to take take advantage of it. A lot going on there. That tree. Ober Mountain donated this one. Over Mountain. I think they just bought the lift on the far end of town here. I think it used to be Ober Gatlinburg, if I'm correct in that. And I think they've changed the name to Ober Mountain. Going to be doing a lot of renovations there on that lift. Old Mill Square. You know anything about this area? You know Old Mill is a very popular area. Gatlinburg Convention and Visitors Bureau donated this one. This one was donated by donated by uh, Anna Kista. There's one with a tree. It's in a basket on the back of a bicycle. It's a little bit different. All right. I think that's all I'm gonna be able to get with the amount of people in here. So, all right, thank you.